Tell us a little bit about your role with him and how you know you first met him. Yeah, when I first met Jim Kelly, yeah, it was really interesting. I was uh, managing a, a collection agency, and Jim, Jim had just come to California seeking a job, so we interviewed him. And actually, um, we first hired Jim, and there was some chemistry that was going on. So one of the one of the male boys that worked there at Coast Credit Corporation, we hired Jim, right? At, gosh, 40 years ago? And very, very modest kind of guy. And um, so when, we, when, we, when the other fellow left, Jim came in, and we talked, and he shared with me about his background, football, karate, and whatever. So I told the floor, I said, I want to introduce you to the new, the other people were male boys. But I, I caution you, he's a karate expert, so he's no longer a male boy. He's a male man, and don't you forget it, everybody cracked up. But, uh, but we, we developed quite a relationship, and uh, Jim eventually asked, asked me, uh, would I help him? Uh, this is before stardom. He asked me if I would help him manage his dojos, because he said, I want someone that I could really, in fact, trust. So that really meant a great deal for me, because Jim, he's, you know, uh, he just doesn't open up that easily. So we had a very, very endearing relationship. We did stunts together. Uh, he trusted me with so much of his business behind the scenes and whatever. And, uh, you know, I, I, I miss this man dearly. I, I just loved him, you know what I mean? And uh, so I just feel like it's a privilege just to say something about a person whom I esteem very highly. Not just Jim Kelly, the star, but Jim, Felly, Jim Kelly, a, a dear friend. What, around the Enter the Dragon part, you know, of his life, it was it was life changing. It was career changing. It was history changing. What was kind of his reaction? I mean, he he almost didn't be a part of the film, but someone dropped out last minute. He got to be a part of it. So, I mean, how did he react? And when, how did he react when it blew up as big as it did? Well, you know, it was, it was really interesting. We were we were there on Crenshaw, and we were in the main gym. And Jim and I, we used to just talk like friends. And he says, Charles, he says, uh, he says, uh, I got this part. And uh, it's really interesting. And uh, you know, he, he talked about you know Bruce Lee and whatever. I says, Jim. I said, Do you really realize what's? I said, You're about to explode. And Jim, it was nothing cocky, nothing arrogant. But he says, He looked at me in his sheepish, shy. Really? R really? Yeah. I mean, he. I mean, you know, he wasn't exaggerating. But I said, Jim, you are going to explode. And he said, well, He didn't see it. Yeah. And man, I mean, ever since then. And uh, his stardom just went through the roof. But Jim was always low-keyed. And because of what anybody ever said about him, you know, he was always mild-mannered, always. But um, I don't know if that answered your question. Absolutely. That, that was a great answer. And then lastly, you know, unfortunately about a month ago or so, he passed a cancer. Looking back just on your, you know, you got to know someone behind all the lights. Um, what is kind of the one thing that you're going to take from his life and from your interaction together that you're going to use and just remember for the rest of your life? Jim Kelly. But, uh, <laughs> okay, just Jim Kelly in the package. Uh, is that, uh, you know, Jim Kelly never seemed to have lost his stride. You know, he was, when I first hired him as a male boy, male man, he still remained the same. And he, he, uh, he said, look, I, I'm going to take four of you guys and I'm going to give you semi-private lessons. This is before he even opened up the big gym. So he gave us like semi-private lessons. It was four of us. And he was still the same. He invited me to some of the tournaments. The man was a tiger out there, but as gentle as a lamb to know him. So I, I'd say that, you know, just the, uh, the meekness that Jim had, he never really let it go to his head, and he was always that kind of quiet guy. I just loved him, man, you know. And we talked on a different kind of level because he said, you know, he says, I, I want to work with someone that I trust. And knowing Jim, I mean, that really, so he trusted me. I think I could take that with me. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. We're excited to see the tribute. Okay, thank you very much.